Hey guys, I am Carter CDC, and today I'm going to do a very quick guide and teach you guys how to make room crafting super easy and way less daunting. And I want to make my guides really easy for you guys to just quickly watch, make it around five minutes long, so that you can guys get back into the grind of RuneScape instead of having to go through like a 20 minute video. And if you don't know what a certain item is that I'll mention in this video, just do a quick wiki search and you'll figure it out. Or you can ask in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer any questions you guys have. But let's get right into it. Moving on to the requirements, you're going to need 23 rune crafting, you're going to need a lunar spellbook, you're going to need 82 magic, and you're going to need to finish the Enter the Abyss mini quest. And from then on for our setup here, if you look here, I have my fire tiara, I have my binding necklace on, I have a, a cape where I can teleport somewhere in case I run out of charges for my ring of dueling if I, if I mess up. So for me, I have my mythical cape. You can use a crafting cape, you can use any cape that you can teleport close to a bank. I have my graceful on and I have a mystic mist staff. For my inventory, I have my large pouch, my medium pouch, a, a slot for my lava runes, a slot for my earth runes, my rune pouch, which includes the astral runes, fire runes, and cosmic runes. And for me, I'm using Dale Essence, but if you don't have that accessible, you can use Pure Essence. And uh, for me, the Dale Essence includes 50% more XP, so that's the way to go for me. Makes it a little quicker. Moving on to the walkthrough right now, I'll do two runs for you guys so you can see how I get uh, my runes out of my bank. I go to my equipment, get my Ring of Dueling, go right to the Duel Arena. I go north, straight to the Mysterious Runes right here. And I can go inside because I have my Fire Tiara. I cast Magic Imbue from my Lunar Spellbook. I click on my earth runes, click on the altar, take my runes out of my pouches, do the same thing, and I head back to Castle Wars. And I rinse and repeat. And so after I get that, I go to my bank, I take out my rune essence, fill in my pouches, fill it in more, go back to the duel arena, and do the same thing. It really isn't that hard at all, guys. Room crafting is easy it, and uh, it's not too click intensive if you follow these tips that I'm about to share with you guys but I actually really love this example you see how this large pouch is degraded with the runes that I included in this setup I can go to my spellbook and I can cast NPC contact you want to talk to the dark mage and he will repair your pouches for you so this is a perfect example just hold the space bar, go right through the conversation, and it's repaired. So now I can use it, I empty it, I have to cast Magic Imbue again because it only lasts about 12 seconds. So I do it again, and I finish those essence that I had in my pouches, and yeah, head right back to Castle Wars. Your pouches won't really degrade that often, but you have the runes already in case that does happen. So it won't really mess you up. Yeah, so for you guys who stick around, there's some rune light tips I have for you. If you open your sidebar, and go to your configuration, all your plugins, you want to search for menu entry swapper right here. You make sure it's enabled and you go to the settings for it. And the first tip I have for you is item swaps. You click on item swaps and you go to bank with. You wanna make sure your bank with is on withdraw one. So that way, when you go to your bank, you wanna have it set to all already. But if you wanna grab like a stamina potion, you don't wanna to have to go to one and then go back to all to select just one or right click it and then click one. You can simply just hold shift and it goes to withdraw one. Let go of shift, goes back to withdraw all. So it makes it a little bit easier, less click intensive and just more relaxing. And the other tip I have for you for Runelight is the item swaps. I mean, the UI swaps, forgive me. For UI swaps, you go to UI swaps and you make sure you check this box for NPC contact. So you saw me earlier, I used NPC contact here. So instead of having to click on this and then click on the menu to click the dark mage, I can just hold shift and it'll do dark mage because it'll call the last person you contacted with this spell. So simply hold shift, click on the, the spell. You'll go right back to the dark mage to get your uh, pouches repaired. So it makes it a little bit easier, less uh, tedious and uh, daunting and things like that. and makes your room crafting experience a little bit better, just a little bit. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, that's my Lava Rune guide for you guys as quickly as possible. If you have any questions at all, 
uh, do a quick wiki search and it should help you out or you can ask in the comment section below. I will be sure to answer any questions you guys have. And I, uh, I think I'm going to keep making videos like this as quickly as possible for you guys just to get in here and get right back out. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video.